Hi, Boris here. So I have been asked a lot of times, Boris, how can we visualize data on the Revolution Pi? So what are you shipping so that we can display our data? And the answer is quite easy, not really something, but a lot. So uh, let's start. One of the ways, and there's a lot of different ways, I will show you some of them in this video. Uh, the first way that comes to my mind is Node-RED because it's super fast and you get awesome results in almost no time. And this website is also a mobile website. You can see it's displayed here on the coffee machine and I can just, um, you can see the cups. This is the remaining water in the water tank and this goes down. And as you can see, this is really live data, which is created here. So let's give it a second and then it should go down again when the um, level falls. So wait, 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 wait. I can tell you something in the meantime. There it is, of course. Uh, the temperature is going up. This temperature data here is collected from this temperature sensor PT1000 over here. And then we have the CPU temperature, which is from the RevPi inside. It's quite hot because it's a small switch cabinet and there is no venting there, but it works fine. So the next thing is um, the advantage fast looks good. The disadvantage is the data is not persisted. So whenever something goes out of the left border, it's lost forever and of course you can put it into a database and node-red is also quite powerful but you would not like to uh, create a product and make node-red part of your product that should display data and stuff like that so it's it's just a tool for people who want to to create flows um, Another open source variant would be uh, an influx database, which is a time series database with this tool called Grafana. And um, yeah, this tool allows you to add panels and select data and create awesome stuff. I don't know why we have this six cups here. Should get live data. So let's see. Yeah, zero cups. So I should have had some um, yeah, different view mode perhaps. But what you can do here is, or what I did here is I installed an influx DB on the RevPy. This is done in the command line. And I installed Grafana. And with Grafana, you can select the data source and then create something like this. And this can be embedded into software. So if you want to create a product which is lightweight, and works on your RevPy locally, then maybe Grafana is the right thing for you. So it's just one of many possibilities. Another possibility when you are into Microsoft Azure and um, Microsoft Power BI, then I know it's not the nicest thing I did here, so it can be created in a much nicer way, I guess, but I'm not the Power BI expert. I just put the data into Microsoft Azure IoT Hub. Then I selected the data with stream analytics and put them into Power BI to make visualizations here. So this is a cloud solution. So the data is um, sent to the cloud. Here it's not persisted. So it's in some way the same as I have done with um, the Node-RED, but I can persist it in some database. For instance, time series database or whatever database I want to, to uh, just enroll in Microsoft Azure. The cool stuff about this is you can use it to interact with other people. So you can chat in Teams and you can even um, like discuss on, on certain data with your teams. And this is interesting when you're like um, having production data and then it's like, uh, oh, wow, the CPU temperature is so high and then you can uh, just, I don't know if it's here, but uh, chat in Teams, for instance, and then I can chat with my colleagues about this um, and discuss why this 
level is like this and we can use the data in a team. So that's pretty much the Power BI stuff like Power BI is like Excel on steroids and uh, helps you to create reports and dashboards and stuff like that and even alarms. Um, I forgot to tell you, uh, all, the, uh, all the solutions I'm showing you are capable of raising alarms. So you can create alarms in Node-RED, you can create alarms in Grafana, you can create alarms in Power BI. And the last thing would be uh, the cumulosity. But one last sentence to Power BI. Um, it's possible to embed this into a product but it's quite hard to achieve this. So if you want to go fast, then maybe even when you're running on Azure, it's a better idea to run a Grafana in Azure and embed the Grafana before you try to embed the Power BI into a product that is sold and um, maybe it, it is uh, has multi-tenant uh, capabilities. So you are selling the cloud product to multiple customers and each customer has to use it that makes it a lot more complex. And if you want to do something like this, then maybe Cumulosity IoT is your uh, choice. What you can see here is uh, a number of widgets which uh, approximately show the same visualizations. I could have added uh, the same vid widgets like uh, the, the uh, gorges and pie charts and whatever. So. Um, this is really cool because it's out of the box. So um, you don't have to install anything. You just have to click your, your demo and just follow the examples. And then you can just add widgets and get your measurements displayed as, uh, as seen here. So this is just four of the different types that are possible. Um, what is also possible, but uh, maybe I have to ask Amar for this, is um, using, um, um, um. shoot, I just don't remember the name. Every time it's like that. Um, it's Kotsus. Uh, Kotsus is this tool, which is more the PLC type. And uh, of course, Kotsus has some capabilities of displaying data as well. So you can even use CodeSys to push the data into a time series database and display it with Grafana. So you can mix all these different flavors. But I hope that gives you a, rush, a rough idea about what is possible. And um, I can just tell you this today is just a teaser because we will just have a number of videos on visualization of data and my famous colleague Salma, she will guide us through all this and then you might see even more options how you can visualize the data. So thanks for watching.